What's something about your significant other that bothers you? Alright, what is going on today guys? Devin and Allison back here with another banger of a video. And today we are going to be going into a little bit more uh, in depth about who we are. And just how who we are as people, our interests, what we like, what we don't like. Pretty much just y'all getting to know us a little bit. And uh, what y'all can expect from the channel here on out. So... In this bucket, we got some questions. And pretty much we're just going to take turns answering these questions. And hopefully that will give you all a little bit more of an idea of what kind of people we are. Yeah. So, Allison, do you want to pick a question and then the question you pick I answer? Or do you want it to be to where... Just whatever question we pick, we just answer ourselves. Uh, we can ask each other the question. Okay, well, shake it up a little bit. All right, you can find me a question first. All right. <laughs> um, let's see. let's see. What group of people do you find uh, it's most... Imp I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> what group of people do you find it's impossible to take serious? Apologize about that technical can't talk. <laughs> um, as of right now, probably people uh, part of the uh, like the BLM stuff, just because a lot of them are very violent, but they do it in the name of BLM, even though it's yeah, it's, they're not really supporting it. They're just I, doing it to to just be crazy. I would agree. I, I would definitely agree. Um, I me personally. I would probably say uh, people that say my body, my choice. Yeah. All right. We need to get past all of this. I mean, it's it's of the past. It really is. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> um. Let's see, since he picked that one, I'm gonna switch it up. Okay. What do you think is wrong with gun laws? Um. People making the laws don't understand guns. Guns don't just randomly kill people. People kill people. Very true. Just like... It's not the alcohol that caused a person to go and drive drunk. That was their choice. It's not the car's fault. It's not the alcohol's fault. It's their fault. Mm -hmm. Very true. What's legal but still feels illegal? Mm. Probably carrying a gun. Yeah, honestly. The right to carry arms. There's so many people get all hissy about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, this is one of the questions I really want to answer, but I'm going to give it to you anyways. If you could only choose one language that you could read, write, and speak, what language would that be and why? Mm, Japanese, because I've always wanted to go to Japan. Okay. What's the best marriage or relationship advice you've ever gotten? Well, we're not married. Uh, you may, you guys may not know that. Yeah. But no. um, we're not married. Um, but so this doesn't necessarily apply to us yet. But never go to bed angry. <laughs> but i I mean, it kind of applies to us. Yeah. It's. It's. Yeah. It so, makes yeah. sense. Especially over something like really small. Yeah. Um, let's see. How much work should a couple have to put in to have a strong relationship? All of the work. Yeah. Every bit of it. 100%. If you value your relationship, you should put forth maximum effort at all times to make the other person feel like you care about them and love them. What's your number one rule in a relationship? Number one, probably don't cheat. Yeah. Number two, don't lie. Even though that was only one question. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you ever wish you could read your significant other's mind? Sometimes. 
Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. I'd agree. What's the most memorable vacation you've taken? Um... Well, if we're talking about just for the two of us, probably our trip to um, Atlanta. We went to go see One OK Rock. Yeah, that was a really good trip. That was fun. That was the first concert either of us have ever been to. Alright. What's the grossest thing you've, you've drinking or drunken? Uh, you, oh, you've ever drunk. Sorry. <laughs> probably milk and magnesia. For anyone who's had that, I'm sorry. It's some disgusting medicine. I'd have to say the stuff you have to take before a colonoscopy. <sighs> what stupid things have you convinced, uh, convinced friends to do? I don't really have one. You want to answer that? Uh, play arrow roulette, which if y'all seen the movie Grown Ups, y'all already know what that is, where you basically shoot an arrow into the air and see who it can hit. Fun game. Um, I really wanted this one. What's the lamest joke you use on a regular basis? I don't. Ha I don't. I don't use. I don't know. I don't make jokes very often. Um, I guess I'll answer it. Um, what's the difference between a snowman and a snowwoman? Yeah, snowballs. Ah, <laughs> hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> If you were in a high speed chase, what song would you want blaring on the radio? Um. I don't know. Maybe Bad Boy, Bad Boy, What You Gonna Do? Or, um. Pump It. Louder! Pump It. Louder! I turn up the radio. Jesus, take the wheel for me. <laughs> oh, wait, no. It's your turn. It's my turn? Yeah, my bad. I'll just take the one. up. You look at um something. What is something you wish that you would have known about your significant other before you started dating? Um, probably just know a little bit more about uh, her allergies and stuff like that. I mean, she has a lot of like not just food allergies, but other allergies. Um, none of them are like serious to the point where like they'd like kill her or anything but it is very important to me to like look at food labels and make sure it doesn't have certain ingredients in it and stuff like that yeah none of like you said none of them are life-threatening or anything um none of them are anaphylactic either it's just more of um irritation causes yeah. rashes kind of thing all right This is a serious one, y'all. Should TP hang over or under? Over. Do we do beards or mullets? Exactly. Beard. Beard. Over. In yeah. case some of y'all didn't understand that. What movie are you always up for watching again? Probably pretty much any of the Marvel movies, really. Yeah. Or the X-Men. Yep. Which, I mean, that, that's part of Marvel, so. Yep. Oh, my turn, sorry. Uh, um, a... what would you like your, or what would you want your funeral to be like? Uh, fun, um, just celebration of life, uh, not grieving over my death. Yeah, makes sense. What's your favorite fast food place? Chick-fil-A! That's the Lord's Chicken right there. Love Chick-fil-A. Sponsor us. Oh, this one's this one's more aimed towards me, but oh well. Um, what is an amusement park designed specifically to make you happy? You can answer. I don't have an answer for this. Lots of loop de loos, high, and fast roller coasters. <laughs> Knew it. Here you go. What event made you mature as a person the most? Probably moving out of my parents' house. Yeah. Alright. How t 
to fight, how do you fight off procrastination? Uh, make a strict schedule. Um, with me being in college and also trying to work out five to six days a week, having a pretty strict schedule really helps. Like an actual list of things that I need to get done that day. And just go out the list and do what you gotta do. Yep. How many kids do you want? No more than four. <clears throat> but probably... I want two. Yeah. That's, that's my preferred number. Okay. What's your dream car? 07 Shelby GT500. Okay. That's what I want. What would be the worst text to wake up and see? That a loved one died. Or World War Three started. Or <laughs> anything crazy like that. Yeah. Um, what is it your favorite thing to do when you have free time? Play video games. Sleep! Or sleep. Sleep is good too. <laughs> I do like my sleep. Or watch TV. What's something about your significant other that bothers you? I mean, I think this is kind of stupid, but sometimes he's too nice. Be careful with your answer. This, or, 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 I'm too nice, never We can leave that in. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say it really bothers me, but sometimes I wish he would. Not that it would be mean to me, but like, I don't know. See how that's an issue. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? That food I bought for you, you can pay me. You can pay me back now. How about that? <laughs> oh wait. No, it's your it, turn. No, I just read. Okay. Oh no, no, no! I guess it was my turn. Uh, oh well. You can just read off that one. I'll answer okay. it. What's your worst vomiting story? It goes for you, anyways. <laughs> yep. Twenty-first birthday. Got wasted. Threw up outside of a gas station. It was bad. It was so bad. Um, oh, sorry. Now it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another significant other question. What's your favorite thing that your significant other does for you? He's always nice to me. <laughs> I don't understand women. <laughs> It's always there for me. It's your turn. Is it my turn? Yep. <laughs> What's the most American thing you've ever done? I don't know. Shotguns on 4th of July. Uh, here's one for you. You go to a Greek restaurant, order okay, a yeah. Greek burger, and take everything Greek off of it and turn it into an American cheese, uh, bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, I did do that. That was a good burger, though. <laughs> uh, if animals were as intelligent as humans, what types of jobs would certain animals be uniquely qualified for? Kind of an odd question, but okay. Uh, well, I mean, dolphins are already intelligent. They can be swimming instructors or something like that. Yeah, that'd be good. I could see that. Okay. Um... What's something small that makes a big difference? Being kind to people. Agreed. What are some relationship deal breakers? Cheating. Yep, that's probably the biggest Honestly, one. Honestly, that's really the biggest one. Other ones, I mean, you could, in my opinion, really work out. Yeah. There's a, you could go to counseling and stuff for it. I feel like it. those are ones you could work out. Cheating. For me, it's just kind of a... <laughs> yep. Agreed. What's your favorite animal? Tigers. I love tigers. Elephant! And dogs. Uh, what's the weirdest wrong number text or phone call you've gotten? Let's try to be quick about this one. Mm. I'm just kind of like one of those random guys texting you being like, Hey girl, where you at? Yada yada yada, and then, but it's just like the wrong you number. Find me on all kinds of devices like what? phones and Google Home. What in the world? I don't know what set that off, but okay. 
Um, weirdest one for me is I had a dude call me uh, saying that I'd been talking to his girl, and he sounded he was like slurring. His, I think the dude was drunk, like saying he wanted to pull up and fight me, but I I had no idea who it was. What does what makes a person seem ignorant or intelligent? The way they carry themselves. Agreed, one hundred percent. Uh, who was your first crush? My first crush. Yep. Who's my competition? Um. Well, this was back in like first grade. So, uh, honestly, I don't even remember his name. This is back when we lived in in Brussels, uh, Brussels, Belgium. Uh, it was one of my brother's friends, his best friend. I'll get the name. <laughs> <laughs> if my parents are watching, they'll probably know who I'm talking about. What do you most look forward to about getting old? Oh, sorry, for me? Um, well, I guess it was actually supposed to be for me. Just not giving a crap. Um, yeah. Bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you were to drop everything and went on a road trip, where would you go? Does it cross the U.S.? Yeah. I like to travel the U.S. Yeah. How often do you go into a room and forget why you went to the room? Every day. 20 times a day. I yeah, um, How serious uh, should it get before a couple gets marriage counseling um if it gets to a point to where y'all are thinking about divorce or splitting apart or like taking a break I don't believe in taking breaks I think breaks are dumb and if you're gonna break up you just need to say you're gonna break up um, cuz you're not happy now you're not gonna be happy a month or two from then um, but if y'all are thinking about taking a break or splitting apart and if y'all really love each other, y'all are going to be willing to put in the time and effort to go to marriage counseling. Yeah, I agree. Oh, your turn. What does the American flag stand for to you? Freedom. Yep. Freedom. 100%. I'd say unity. What for you, me. Yeah. Is it, yep. Oh, turn. sorry. I keep forgetting whose turn it is. <laughs> you show me the bucket and I just go for it. Um, if you had an extra extra thousand dollars, what would you spend it on? Car parts. I love cars. Okay. What were some of your favorite childhood books? Um, I didn't love these as much as he does, uh, but Calvin Hobbes books. Love but I Calvin also Hobbes. I have every one of them. <laughs> Anything and everything to do with um, the Magic Tree House books. Mm -hmm. Do you ever read those? I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn. Yep. See, there, there we go again. Um, what's your favorite movie? Ooh, The Dark Knight. Okay. Heath Leather's Joker was Academy Award winning. It was great. What do you think will cease to exist during your lifetime? Common sense, oh. <laughs> um, but if you're speaking like business and stuff, I mean, I honestly, with the way things are going right now, movie theaters. At um, least like traditional movie theaters yeah. where you go and drive-in I mean, movies will probably still be a thing. Yeah. I mean, as of right now, that's. I agree uh, with that. Kind of all I see. Well, I mean, anywhere to get close to people, really. But yeah. It's fine. We don't have any more questions left. We can finish this as we hurry. What kind of car do you have, Allison? A 2012 Nissan Altima. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shove it out of my, my way. Okay. Um, <laughs> what's the most worthwhile thing a person can do? A person... Sorry, I can't talk. A person can spend their time on. Um... Bettering themselves. Yeah, 100% agree. What's your favorite candy? <laughs> Any free gummy kind of <laughs> thing. Yep. Oh. <gasps> we need to stop videoing at night. <laughs> oh. 
What do you find yourself getting into arguments the most often about? Uh, where's the TV remote? <laughs> Well, I guess. Not, because we, we really don't argue. Well, it's not, in general, it's not like just for the two of us, but yeah. yeah. What's the last thing you Googled, Allison? Last thing I Googled. Honestly, don't know. Mine was test answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. Uh, where were you when you had your first guess? Like, we're talking like, are we talking like first real kiss or like first like real small kiss. peck on the lips? No, real kiss. First real kiss probably, uh, be at your house. Yeah. My parents' Honestly. driveway. Yep. Um, yes. Where would your perfect place to settle down be? Uh, somewhere serene. Just yeah. quiet. But close enough to places, like. You don't have to drive an hour to go get groceries. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um, what is your favorite memory of dating your significant other? What does that mean? We don't date anymore? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Um, going to the concert together was really cool. Um, other than that, I really just, in, just enjoy spending time with you every day. Yeah, honestly. I agree. If you could have any animal in the world, what would it be and why? <gasps> Elephants! Alright, next. And Good. lots and lots and lots of dogs. <laughs> Rapid fire! <laughs> if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Being rich. <laughs> <laughs> What's your ideal wedding? Uh, family oriented. I do it every time. Uh, how many siblings do you have? I have one older sibling. Money was a no object, where would you live? That's kind of, I mean, kind of already answered that. Yeah, somewhere nice, serene, tranquil, pretty. I'm about to get really irritated with myself, y'all. Okay, um, what is your favorite home-cooked meal? Anything Allison makes. What do you love most about your significant other? What I love most? Yes. That you're always there, no matter what. No matter how many times I fall, you always pick me up. Or how many times, uh, it's your turn. No, it's my turn. I don't know anymore! <laughs> <Just> fuck it. <laughs> uh, well, crap. I'll answer this. What game have you put the most hours into? Witcher 3. Hers would probably be the little phone game on her phone. Yeah, phone game on my phone. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's so specific, Devin. Okay. Um... What's the most stress relieving thing you can do for twenty dollars or less? Do or get? I don't know. Massage. Yeah, I guess like a massage. Candy. <laughs> What's the role of a wife? Um, a partner in life, partner in crime. Yeah, this isn't the old times where the wife's just supposed to stay at home and do the dishes. Everyone, all right? She's a partner. What would be the most useful mandatory class to add to a public or private schools? Life skills, like doing your taxes, how to get a job, how to do an interview. Um, hmm. yep. I mean, just stuff like that. I mean, like, common sense stuff that should be in school. Agreed. Uh, what is on your bucket list? Uh, probably going skydiving. Okay. Mm. What's your dream honeymoon? Anywhere with you. Aww. What's your idea of a healthy relationship and what does it look like? Uh, this was supposed to be his question, so he can answer it. Um, honestly, I think what we have now. Yeah. Just trusting, no secrets, open, caring, loving. What bad experience should everyone go through? Uh, I would have to say working a minimum wage job um, yep. and pretty much working fast food or a place like that, retail, experience that. Yep. What's your favorite color? <gasps> Blue. Same. 
what's the strongest animal you could win against with just your bare hands and feet? Uh, for me, probably like maybe like a mountain lion. I think I could take a mountain lion. Okay. I'm pretty confident. What do you often? Uh, well, what, what, sorry. What do you most often take for granted? The roof over your head, the food on the table, just on basic, your body. basic life Being stuff. Being able to that, drive a car. Yeah. How do you feel about the Second Amendment? We both love it. One hundred percent support. Guns are awesome. All right. Last Final one. question: What does it mean to you to love someone unconditionally? Just loving someone, uh, even with all the flaws and insecurities they might have. Mm -hmm. I one hundred percent agree. No matter how many times you get on each other's nerves. All right. So it looks like we have. We're just like tw 27 minutes, 30 seconds in. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, pretty much. Hopefully that kind of gives you all a little bit better of Idea. Uh, a little bit more of an insight as to kind of who we are as people, what we stand for, what we believe in. And, uh, yeah. Got some pretty cool videos coming up for y'all. A um, lot of tasty and not so tasty food videos <laughs> that we're going to be trying. Um, hopefully before too long we can get to more of like a vlogging yeah uh channel because we want to incorporate some of that but with corona it's kind of hard to go out and socialize and do stuff know, like that do stuff and well, create fun vlogs but well we hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this helped uh you guys learn a little bit more about us um i hope you guys like and subscribe if you don't then it's fine we hate you leave <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't. Um, it's free. Why it's not? It's free. You can subscribe and you can always unsubscribe if you decide to do It doesn't like cost us. any money. <laughs> Just Anyways, do it, please. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Stay safe. Bye. All right. Peace out, y'all.